Hi all you YouTubers. Several weeks ago I bought myself a new Angus McKirk Expedition Sluice. Um, months earlier I bought myself my very first, first sluice which was the Bazooka, um, which is classed as an underfloor sluice, gold trap, um, which really was a little forgiving as far as the water flow and the amount of water and got used to that bazooka sluice and then bought the Yangus McKirk and several times I had to play around with rocks and spend time on the creek and the stream that basically was wasted time production wise playing with bricks and trying to get the correct pitch and the right angles so this morning I went out and bought a few components and put together what I think is a, a fairly decent uh, stand which is a fixed stand it's not one of those that you actually put in the water and the sluice can actually fit inside and actually be taken in and out of this, uh, the stand itself. I decided that I'd prefer something that was fixed to the sluice that would have light enough legs that could be adjusted up and down with a minimum of problem and that those legs could also be adapted maybe to the bazooka. That way I could take the legs off and basically just use the, uh, the fittings and the U-clamps on the bazooka with the legs from this sluice and not have to carry out around different stands and different components for each sluice. So I'll just show you a couple of things about these um, U-clamps. I went to U-laws and bought what they term a U-bolt strut beam clamp. I'm just trying to get it into magnification there. These things are about $3 each and they're built out of uh, extruded steel or some kind of um, alloy with a screw thread and a decent sized screw going and a hole coming from the back side of the face. So what I did, I actually drilled holes into both sides of the Angus McKirk and then used the Dremel tool to route out a little bit of the ABS plastic to accommodate the conduit tube that I bought from Walmart, or sorry, from uh, Laws, which was about four dollars. Cut the five foot long section into four pieces. Attached the clamps using a small screw, a nut on the other side, into the body of the clamp and also put some epoxy on the face of the actual clamp and it should be pretty 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 steady and then the last thing I did is if you notice that on the actual picture there is no decent sized adjusting screw on the U-bolt strut clamp so I went to Ace Hardware and bought these what I call handles threaded them on and just um, loctited the thread so that it wouldn't back out when I was putting a little bit of pressure on those uh, adjusting screws. The whole thing can go up and down. As I said the actual tubes can come out and I've got four of the clamps which I will modify and make onto the actual bazooka sluice and that way I have a a common stand system for both the bazooka and the Angus McKirk sluices. I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Again, I looked at those uh, stands which look like they're very, very flimsy. The cheapest cost about $70 plus freight. The most expensive was about $150 plus freight. They all look like they were built at the same manufacturing facility. It looked like they're all the same. If you obviously had one with a, a keen or anything, you know, with a lofty name, it cost more than the $62 cheapo, but they pretty much looked all the same and looked like they took a lot of putting together and weren't as steady as I believe these things are going to be. Once again, thanks for looking at this video. If you have any questions, you can email me or contact me on the YouTube service and once again i hope this has been useful to anybody thanks a lot